Here's radio station K0DG monitoring the passes of International Space Station. And you may think it takes all of this gear to do it. It doesn't. It takes only that little radio right there. Tuned to the frequency that's the calling frequency for Zarya, the satellite name of the International Space Station. And we have our tracking program going, Satscape. And we'll uh, catch the space station coming around on this pass in a moment. The International Space Station will be in range in four minutes. The computer announces to us when the state space station is going to be in range. And there's a depiction of the satellite coming up over the west coast, the round circle. The red lines show the footprint, the radio footprint. If you're inside that footprint, you're within radio range of the satellite. And it's uh, moving right along there, a little over 16,500 miles an hour. Going in the same direction as the Earth, roughly, but the Earth is only going 1,000 miles an hour at the equator, less than 45 degrees where we are. I don't know if you can see the little red dot there. It's, that's where our radio station is located, right in the center of the United States, right here in Omaha. And you can see that uh, Zari is moving right along. Footprints out over the Rockies now. Takes it 91 minutes to completely circle the Earth. So it go, it's zooming along at a pretty good pace there. And the Earth can't quite keep up with that. But if it's not going very fast, it would fall down, probably fall in the ocean. But it's just zipping right along, and here she comes. She's coming over the Rockies now. Okay, she's so getting pretty close now. The satellite's almost over, directly over the west coast. Satellite, it's really the space station. You can track satellites with this. The International right Space Station will be in range in less than a minute. Less than a minute, it's going to be right over the uh, west coast and be within radio range of Omaha. The space station is currently in range until 1328. Okay, we're in range until 1328. It's about nine minutes. So she's just coming uh, almost right over Portland, Oregon, Vancouver. And she's going to go to the north of us here. The last pass, she went right over Omaha. This time is a little bit further north. And it'll be here again in roughly an hour and a half. Currently in range until 1328. Zipping right along. Down there in the lower right hand corner you can see the moon, position of the moon. Here's a little different The International view. Space Station is currently in range until 1328. This one you can see the sun down over Mexico and the moon back over India in the Indian Ocean and just off of Indonesia. Right in there in the center of the screen. And there's Zarya passing to the north of us. Just over the Canadian border it looks like. And within radio range. And this is your two-dimensional view. Currently in range until 1328. And there we've got both the 2D view and the 3D view on the screen at the same time. Very interesting. This is real time. This is actually what's happening right now. 1823 Zulu on uh, May 14th, or 1323 local time. This program, Satscape, can be run by anyone. It's a free program, and anybody can run it. Watch all sorts of different satellites on there. They've got about every satellite and a lot of the space junk on there that are tracked, and you can just pick which ones you want to track and track them. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yep. 
the web page where you can download this program for free is in the text of the message, the email. It's a lot of fun to play with, so I hope you have a good time with it. Feel free to download it and do with it as you will. You don't have to be a ham. It's available to the general public as well. Yep. So go at it. Ciao, ciao. Sign arm. 73. It's KCODG. Over and out.